My family loved this recipe. I'll make it again. If you like it, please comment, I love easy recipe, and don't forget to like this video. Into a medium saucepan with the heat still off, start by adding one cup of water. I'm using a 240 milliliter cup. Then add a pinch of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and 120 grams of unsalted butter. Now turn the heat on medium low, and using a spatula or spoon, mix it all together until butter fully melts. When that happens, turn the heat off and add 140 grams of wheat flour. Then keep mixing it until ingredients combine. Once you've done that, turn the heat back on medium low and mix it for another two minutes or until dough begins to loosen from pan. This is the right consistency. You may now turn off the heat. Gently spread some of this dough over the pan and wait until it reaches a warm temperature. When that happens, add three whole eggs. Make sure to add one at a time and mix it very well just like I'm doing here. Leave us a comment with the name of the city from which you're watching this. I'd like to give you a shout out and thank you for sharing this recipe. This is the right consistency, a smooth and sticky dough. You may now stop mixing it. Now transfer all this dough to a piping bag fitted with a medium sized nozzle. If you don't have a nozzle, use a disposable piping bag with the tip cut off. Now, into a baking tin prepared with parchment paper, pipe some lines of this dough into log shapes. Make sure they're not too thin and approximately 10 centimeters long, just like I'm doing here. Once you've piped all lines of dough, take baking tin to preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit and let it all bake for 25 minutes. While dough is baking, into a medium saucepan with the heat still off, add 500 milliliters of milk. Then add three tablespoons of cornstarch. Using a whisk or spatula, mix it all together very well until cornstarch fully dissolves. Now add one cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla essence, and three sieved egg yolks. Now mix it all together very well again. Finally, add two tablespoons of butter. Turn the heat on medium low and keep stirring it non-stop until cream slightly thickens. If you've made it here, that means you're enjoying our recipe. So click the share button and share this video with all your friends. It won't cost you anything, but for us, it will make all the difference. This is the right consistency. You may now stop stirring it and set aside until it reaches room temperature. Once you've done that, our dough will have baked through. Take it out of the oven and let it cool down to start filling it. Once pastry cream we've just prepared has cooled down, transfer all of it to a piping bag fitted with a nozzle or to something that can be inserted into the dough. Next, to fill this dough, make a hole at one of the dough sides and pipe cream into it until you feel like you've filled it with enough pastry cream. Now, into a small glass dish, add 150 grams of milk chocolate. Then take it to a microwave and melt it in 30 second intervals. Make sure to always mix it during these intervals. To finish it off, once chocolate has melted, dip the top of the eclair into this chocolate mixture. Dip half of the dessert into it, then let it drip just like I'm doing here. Now take it to the fridge and let it chill for five minutes. That recipe is ready. You may now get one and enjoy it. I really hope you like this recipe. Now I'll head back to the comments section and we'll continue to answer everyone who left the name of their city. And I'll also thank you for sharing this recipe. See you next recipe. Bye.